Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Delbert, back at you guys with another video. Got my coffee, I'm gonna have to do me a refill. Definitely after I finish cooking dinner for the wifey. Finally got my Christmas present in. The Line Dominator 470LP. Pocket up under with the rest of my stuff on me there, my heavy stuff. Yeah. Of course, you guys, y'all have seen a bunch of the Align videos that's out there. I really don't need to uh, do a build video on the uh, on this. Because there is a ton of videos that's out there. But man, that's one thing they didn't do. It was upgrade. I know it costs money, but Jesus. Upgrade to a color manual. A line. Great. Same thing as always. You know, your transmitter, your battery. Fly bar unit. Charger. Wash plate leveler, digital pitch gauge, multifunction tester, and of course all your little tools that you're going to need to uh, put this bad boy together. And these are the extra uh, parts that you can definitely uh, get. And uh, this is going to be a fun, 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 fun build. Fun, fun, fun build, guys. I just love building these damn things from the ground up. The only thing that's different from this than the 450L Dominator kit that I had and the other 450L, I mean the other 470L kit, which is the L, which is the LM. Basically, what the difference is between these two models is this one is plastic, has the plastic blade grips plastic tail it don't have the uh, strut towers on the side the metal strut that they have on the side for the frame they don't have that in there on there so that's the only difference you know that you're going to see between the two uh helis and plus the main shaft uh the main uh stir blocks actually these are plastic which is not all that bad eh and that's the whole reason why everybody goes cheaper with the LM because it's a lot more plastic versus the, uh, <clears throat> that's where everybody go with the LP, I'm sorry, versus the LM. Because the LP is the plastic version and the M is the metal version. So you get metal bearing blocks and hubs and everything like that. And, auto rotation shaft this is a plastic one that's right here you get your servo mount right there your rear servo mount for your tail you got here your main blade grip set up along with the swash plate along with the main shaft and I wonder if we can use the parts off the 450L because if you can then I have two main uh, blocks from my uh, 450L left over that I had extras. And of course you guys see we have the uh, belt, the belt drive unit, the tail pulley section, which is cool. And they also, I uh, noticed, I think they're supposed to be like a tensioner. That's really cool that they added on to uh, this new, to this new one. <clears throat> I still got all mine, guys, my uh, 450 with my 500 and my 700X. Of course, those are the main, can't see, sorry about that. Those are the two main plates that's in there. So, <clears throat> like I say, guys, once you've seen one, you didn't see them all. I really don't have to do a... Uh, time build on this thing right here or do a build 
video because there is a lot of them out there. Sorry about this, guys. I am so sorry. You guys are seeing my shirt right now. It's kind of hard to try to put this up in the hand. I am so sorry about that. And as you guys can see, you got the, the box for the main blades and the electronic motor package, which basically I already have a uh, ESC. The, the line 50 amp ESC I already have that, and now I have a, another one, a spare, and I got the line motor, the Dominator motor that comes with it. So I couldn't beat that. I mean, I really didn't need the motor or the ESC. So if you guys remember my last video I did, I had already had an ESC. And I got a Scorpion motor. So, yeah, going on six minutes, guys. Don't want to drag this out any much longer. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.